They're probably queuing up to, uh, to buy some carrots, but uh, I don't know if they're grown yet. <laughs> Hello everybody, Mr. Sixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. Today, we're going to watch a snake eating marbles. But that's not all, because this marble run is massive. We're going to take it for a spin, chuck as many marbles as we can down it, and then do some racing on it. This marble run is made by one of the amazing creators over on the Steam Workshop, and if you'd like to check it out for yourselves, I will leave a link in the description below. We are now up at the very top of the marble run on the roof, and if I just spawn in some marbles here, oh, there we go. <laughs> We've got loads of marbles coming in from all directions and all converging into this swirl pit, but that is actually part of the chimney on the house, and look at this, I'm just going to keep spawning in more above. But uh, we've got over a thousand now and they're just pouring out of the chimney here onto the track and there's several routes which we'll take a look at in a minute. But you can just see how awesome this looks above at the very start of the run. And uh, we'll, we'll keep spawning in more and more and more. <laughs> Loads! We're going to have uh, probably more than 2,000 eventually but we'll just stick with that for the moment. They come down here and we may get some traffic jams as I normally, uh, I normally cause a few traffic jams don't I? But there we go. Uh, they're all going onto this big swirl pit here, dropping down the centre, and let's try and follow them down with the camera, actually, and see where they go. Just down here, there's a bit of transparent pipe, so we can see through it, and they're all going to jump through the air over here into these pots, which have holes in. What they do next is fall through the holes in these pots, and they're sort of all, you know, they're all being collected here, essentially. And uh, let's follow one down the hole now. Oh dear, whoops, uh, okay, and if we have a look outside the pipe, there actually, there's so many different routes they can go, and there's the snake, by the way, so we're going to go through the snake in a minute. Oh, there we go, so they come out here, look, onto the track and join the others, and uh, if we just zoom out, we can see the overall picture, so lots of different routes, there's some, look, dropping off here, which is really cool, dropping down onto the green track with a loop on it, doesn't that look amazing, even the beginning alone of this track is really, really cool. Over here we have a loop which goes straight into the snake's mouth. So, uh, <laughs> should we follow them in, guys? Should we go inside the snake and see what happens next? If I just go through the tube here. Here we go then, through the mouth. And actually, I'm going to spawn in some more marbles right now. So they'll be coming down and uh, soon we'll be <laughs> surrounded by even more. But right now, we are inside the snake. A few booster pads. We'll just speed up here as we go right the way through. And a few marbles joining us as well. We're going to go around the corner. And by the way, if I just go outside the snake for a minute, you can see we're now in the greenhouse. Um, the snake is massive. It's so big, it even goes in the greenhouse and into a log as well. But let's go back inside and follow them through. So around the corners here, onto the floor of the greenhouse. Oh, okay, there's a big traffic jam up there. But we'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, they seem to go up this structure next to this sort of grassy track. They go all of the way up, look, to the top. Then up the top here, we're going to go through some tubes and out onto the roof of the greenhouse. Loads of marbles. Now, this is the second round that I spawned in a minute ago. And look in the background there. Loads of marbles are still coming down the track from the beginning. I'm going to spawn in even more. And we currently have over 4,000 marbles on this run. Anyway, here's the roof then. So let's see what happens next. They're going out of the tubes onto the roof and collecting, oh, some of them are skipping the barriers. But, oh, I see, look, there's actually a pipe that goes down the back as well as the front or the side. And uh, now, okay, there's a bit of a 2D style marble run here with spinners and load balancer tracks as well, which can actually pivot around these little uh, wooden pieces as well. So that's interesting. And they're falling down through some pegs as well and then joining onto three different tracks with their own loops that is awesome i love that and i like how they're a bit transparent as well so you can see through them some of the marbles are unfortunately getting stuck look they're queuing up in the carrot patch they're probably queuing up to uh, to buy some carrots but uh, i don't know if they're grown yet Oh no, that's why. Okay, I yeah, I've made some really big traffic jams. That's why. <laughs> that's why they're coming off the track. Cause look at that. We have, we've broken it. We've already broken it. Over here we have some escalators 
uh, exiting the carrot patch, which is why we've got the traffic jam. But on these routes, they seem to be a bit more free running because we don't have... But they go through a pitchfork here. That's cool. Yeah, we don't have any escalators here. So that's why these ones are running a bit quicker. Down onto the track here through a checkpoint because, of course, you can do races on this track as we're going to do later on. And then... Uh, okay, so there's two separate routes here. Loads of tyres or... I, I assume these are tyres. And actually, they're, they're, they're coming out the top of the uh, the tyres there. That's cool, isn't it? If we go inside here, we can see what, what happens. They're coming down the bottom here and then floating up the top because they're losing gravity and going through the hole. Let's see where they jump to next. Okay, through some more tyres down there. That's interesting, isn't it? Through some more tyres. We'll follow them down. And uh, there we go. So along the track, they've joined back on together again. Then we're going to follow the track through some reeds and, you know, pond plants and everything. Around the corners here, all the way across the uh, the pond. Ah, okay, that's an issue. <laughs> I think we've broken it again over here, look. We've uh, got a massive traffic jam. Oh, oh, look, they're still moving. Actually, the marbles are moving really slowly. So, uh, there we go. <laughs> They might be all right eventually. I've got an idea just to get some more marbles across the line. What I'm going to do is increase the power of the booster pad. And I'm going to move it back a bit. Yeah, look at that. Just so we can get some more marbles to free up and go along. Because, okay, okay. Easy. I'll get these ones to free up a bit as well. There we are, look. And now I'm going to put that back again. Look at that. We've actually helped it a lot. Lots of marbles are now moving along it. The escalators are now loaded up and we should get a lot more marbles coming up here onto the big section of track down there. Now look at this thing. I mean, that That is essentially a whole marble run on its own, isn't it? That's how amazing this bit is. But uh, yeah, here they all come. <laughs> yes, this is what we wanted. So let's, should we follow one down in camera mode at the moment? Let's choose the dog marble here. Okay, we are now in camera mode. And let's see where we go. We'll probably get stuck, won't we? <laughs> let's hope not. Through the holes. And, oh, we, okay, we've skipped a few holes but joined on that one. Now we're going round the thin bit of track here, the blue section. Uh, but there's so many different routes here. And, okay, in the background, look, some of the marbles are dropping into a well. That's interesting. Loads of track. I mean, it's a bit like a bowl of spaghetti over here, isn't it? Just, you know, multicolored spaghetti. Here are some load balances. And if this one fills up, what it's going to do is tip all of the marbles out. Let's just see how that works. We've got loads of marbles coming down. And in a minute, that should tip over. So we'll watch that happen. Here we go. Here it goes tipping. Yeah, it's worked. Okay, nice, nice. And they're all falling down. And I guess they just go to the ground level and somehow join in with the rest of the marbles down here. Look, so that's where they all converge. Okay, so let's find out where they go next. If we just go into camera mode again, take the red marble here and uh, we'll follow it through. Okay, uh, hang on a minute. We're inside some leaves. <laughs> Can't really see what's going on, can we? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Yeah, out, out the top. Okay, up a track. This spiral is massive. Look how big this thing is. And it takes us up the top for a secret passage in amongst all the leaves. And look, here is the finish line. So there is actually where you can win the race and complete the course. We're just going to follow this one through because it looks like actually after the finish line, you drop down into a box. Okay, there's, a, there's one box. And I'm going to hit the booster pad, roll off, and fall into a pot, a big flower pot down there. Cool. Now we've seen the entire run, let's go and do some racing on it. Today we have 100 marbles named after my own viewers. If you guys would like a marble named after you in a future video, let me know in the comments section down below. Right then, we're back up at the start line now and the race is about to begin. So the red lights are going to turn green now and everyone piles into the centre of that swell pit and all the positions are going to get mixed up like crazy as uh, Mr. Meeseeks takes first place out of there really quickly. And then, oh no, Mr. Meeseeks has got stuck underneath, but has actually started moving again, look, just underneath the track there. So that's really lucky, but uh, still in first place, apparently. BRH was in second, but now Oliver is in first, McCannon in second, and Mr. Meeseeks in third as they descend towards the snake over here. Let's take Oliver's marble in camera mode and see what happens as we drop down into the snake. Let's see if you get stuck. Hopefully not though. We're going to go over the loop like that. And, oh, okay. Just about made it there. I thought you were going to get stuck there really fast through the snake and into the greenhouse already. Oliver is doing an incredible job. We've got lots of other marbles following on behind now 
and uh, Sunny and Melanie. Sunny just about getting stuck there, but I think hopefully somebody's going to knock you. And yes, you are on your way as well. Lots of people still here. Uh, you know, falling down the side of the roof and the building there. Mahana's got stuck, but everybody's knocking you on the way. So hopefully you're going to get knocked. And there you go. I think, I think you'll carry on your way, luckily. Okay, we're now following Lotus inside the greenhouse. Just about to go out the window, hopefully. That's it. And down the side. Oh, no, you got stuck. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, and you made it. Okay. So you're going to drop down the side here, eventually hit the pegs, and then go along one of those three tracks. Now what you want to do is avoid the red track. I mean, it's still okay, but it's a bit slower than the orange and the green tracks here. So these marbles are going to have to go up the escalators. Twisted Vines, though, has already got to the top of those with AS Eclipse and Sunny there as well. But yeah, the green and orange tracks are a little bit quicker and uh, you'll have a bit of an advantage. Um, also, I think the tyre section here is a bit slower as well. But most marbles are going the other direction, I think. Yeah, look at that. Most people are going along the straight there. Here comes Zachary really fast past the screen with that lava and flaming marble. That looks amazing, doesn't it? And uh, now we're, of course, crossing the pond here over the top of the water through the plants around this sort of swirly, curly bit <laughs> and then uh, onto the escalator. Now, actually, guys, we're sort of approaching the end of the run for the first marbles. Jason there in first position, Skid in second and also Oliver in third back here. It might be quite a close finish, actually, for these ones. But uh, down in 20th, we have Finn on the escalator, it seems. Yep, OK. And then Mathman in 10th, just going off the escalator as well. So let's have a look at Skid now. Skid is in first position, dropping down onto the orange track here. It's going to be really interesting to see who takes which line, because look how many different routes there are. I haven't counted, but uh, you guys can let me know in the comments if you're counting these routes. I've, I've lost count already. <laughs> we already have some marbles near the end, guys. These ones are probably going to be the winners. Lotus looking to be in a really good position at the moment in front of everyone else. But uh, we'll have to wait and see <laughs> who actually comes down to the finish line. We're going to wait here. We'll hang around and see who crosses it first. But Lotus is in a really good position right now. Look at that. There we are, just right at the top of this secret passage through the leaves right now. Um, and who's going to come out first? It is Lotus. So let's see, are you going to get stuck or are you going to win? And there we go. Confetti flies into the air. Lotus has won the race. Congratulations. Wolf Plush in second there. Well done to you as well. And I think Jeremiah might be in third. There you go. There's Jeremiah there. Uh, BRH could be fourth. Uh, who was that? I forgot if I think that was Larry. Larry Lee in fourth and then BRH in fifth. Skid in sixth at the moment. And of course now lots of other marbles are pouring down into the finish line. Now by the way guys, I think a lot of marbles are actually going to get stuck or not finish the race. However, even if you don't finish the race, you still get a position. So don't worry about that. You'll still be kind of positioned properly on the leaderboard, but you just may not have a time to show. Darn H coming down there. Hudson, Jeff, I can see loads. Of, there's Moo Moo Head as well. Jurassic Riley, David S, Noah Kanoa, Yeet Mojo, Crystal Blue Marble. Subscribe is going down there as well across the line. Pikachu, Love Time Foxy, The Revenge Forget, Melanie F and Nick Chef as well. Cow is coming across the line as well, just getting stuck on a, on a nail there. And is they? Yes, they're going to make it. They're going to make it. They've gone through. We've now got Australia Ball coming up there. Heaven N, Elite and Hudson, Stephanie J and Cool Senyeth as well down there on the spiral as well. Parker M. Just <laughs> joining onto the secret passage at the bottom there. The question is, can Parker catch up to Cool Senyuth before <laughs> before they get to the finish? It is possible, but probably they're going to finish in that order. Ah, there we go. The race is finished. Okay. Well, here are the final results then. We have Lotus in first position with the fastest lap of 3 minutes 28 seconds. Wolf Plush in second and Jeremiah in third. Larry Lee uh, in fourth and then BRH in fifth. Skid sixth. Eku, uh, Renata, the core, and then Aiden rounding off the 10 first places. Now I'm going to scroll down the list here and uh, we'll just see all of the positions that we have in the race altogether. But uh, don't forget, guys, if you want me to name a marble after you, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll do that for you. Now, as you can see, we have quite a lot of non-finishers here, but don't worry because you still have uh, your accurate positions, or at least as accurate as possible. So you still have a position, you just don't have a time. 
But uh, yeah, quite a lot of non-finishes there. I think you either got stuck or fell off the track somewhere. But this track seems to be particularly lethal and uh, very difficult to complete. <laughs> anyway, well done to everybody. I'll tell you what, guys, everyone who is still watching this video by now, all the way near the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm actually having to record this video at one o'clock in the morning. It is way past my bedtime, or at least past the bedtime that I should be attending. So, uh... Yeah, it, it's uh, I, I'm really tired now and it's been a very difficult day because I've had to record this race quite a few times actually. I've had so many issues with one thing or another. I've probably recorded this race or tried to record it uh, more than 20 times. Like, I'm not even joking. Probably more like 30 times. So I'm really glad that at least we have completed it even though we have a lot of non-finishes. In fact, I have saved two of the failed attempts from earlier to show you. In this first one here, the game decided to tell me before the end of the race that nobody had finished and then in the race after that uh just check this clip out to see what happened the game is not paused i mean i'm playing it and pausing it and as we can see the marble animations are working so the game is running except for some reason the final results are not here are the top 23 finishes anyway that is actually mr me seeks down there <laughs> in 23rd we can just about read that uh, only just though Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And look at that. Somebody else has just joined in. Into our, They've turned up like ages later. But that's good. At least someone else has finished the course as well. You must have got freed somewhere. But that's all we've got time for in this video. My voice is about to expire. And I need to go to sleep, I think. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you've enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it. Lots more videos are on the way, as always. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.